Hi you guys, right, in this video I'll show you how to pull a cam on an A14, um, put it back and get your timing sorted. To start off with you have to have the engine upside down. Uh, a lot of guys ask the question, can you change the cam when the, when the engine is in the car? No you can't because of the cam followers. Um, the cam followers obviously come in from this side and, and they're going to they're gonna bother you when you pull the cam and put the cam back. So you have to have it upside down. You have to remove your uh, chain tensioner and you have to remove that bolt then you can pull your cam out obviously your distributor and your oil pump has to be out as well um, because of the gears on it it's not gonna it's not gonna allow you to pull the cam so i'll undo that quickly so i've taken the cam out the cam bushes look good i'm gonna stick the new cam in just remember to oil all your all your lobes before you put it in, each and every one. Give it a nice bit of oil. Um, and then you can just put it in. You'll see the bushes are not the same. The back ones are smaller and the ones over here are a little bit bigger. It's just to make it easier for you to get it in. close to business uh, you'll notice this one doesn't have the pin in so I'll have to remove the pin from my other cam to put it in here um, I'll do that quickly so once you're that far I could put the pin in here you can put those two back I'm just gonna do it by hand now um, because we want to get the timing sorted this one I don't want to waste your time see how I struggle to get screws in now we have to obviously line that up like we did before to get all of those in in line um, making sure this is still in TDC so when you line them up like that in the center there that has got to line up there and in the center there two dots center center must line up now you know your timing is going to be correct and the trick is to get all of that on and get it lined up with a chain in place um, but before you do that, that needs to be torqued and the bolts behind needs to get... I like to put a little lock nut on them, so I'm going to do that and then we'll get the timing chain on. Right, um, just a little bit of trial and error. If you take a straight edge, you can see my dots line up. We'll check it with a with an 8 count anyway. But it's actually, if you've got it out one tooth, you can see that it's it's quite a bit out. If you put a straight edge on it, you, it's it's a mile out. See there, it's it's literally a mile out. You, you to, to be out one tooth on chain timing is to get it wrong is nearly impossible. So there, I've moved it one tooth. I've put it on my cam like that. Now my tensioner is going to pull this side. And then um, you can see they line up. We're going to check it with the dots anyway, just to make double sure um, that we're not out. So we'll do that in a second. I'm just going to put that in by hand so it doesn't pop off. And I'm going to put the chain tensioner back and I'll turn it till those line up so we can, we can check that. So there we are. There's a dot in line with a one with a light mark or the, the light link on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's the other one. So from there to there, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. The shiny one there is number one, and the shiny one there is number ten. And that's got to line up with that dot, and that one has got to line up with that dot. 
So to double check yourself, those dots need to line up. Um, so for that, we need to get number one TDC. And it's, got, it's now 180 degrees out, so we're gonna turn it one more time. There's number one TDC. So to get TDC, proper TDC, we'll put the cover on. Just like that. And we'll wrap the pulley on quickly. probably can't see there because the camera is in the wrong position um, but there's the dot number one TDC is right there and then that's got to line up if you use the straight edge can double check yourself they will line up timing done